Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're working with Analog Effects Pro 2. Now, I'm calling this episode Getting Creative analog effects, exploring presets. So I want to show you a lot of the really cool presets inside of Analog Effects Pro 2, which will really help you to take your images and turn them into something very special, like images like this. With just one click, man, you can really alter your image in a magnificent way, and you have total control, total flexibility over every one of these presets. You can add things, take things away. Really, really great. Analog Effects Pro along with Silver Effects Pro and Color Effects Pro are my top three Nick collection pieces of software. And don't forget, everything is on sale right now from uh, DxO up to 30% off. Uh, just click on my affiliate link in the description below. It'll take you to those offers. I make a small commission. It helps my channel out, and I really appreciate it. So don't forget the, about that holiday season offer. Well, sit back and relax. I'm going to go through a lot of these different presets just to whet your appetite so you can see the really cool stuff that you can do with Analog Effects Pro 2, which is part of the Nick collection. Before I start showing you the presets, just turn your attention to the right of the interface. These are all the adjustments that make up this uh, preset called Classic Camera 9, okay? And you'll notice I have the dirt and scratches shut off. I can turn it on and you can see dirt and scratches. Now you can open these guys up, each one of these filters, and you can change the, the, the type of texture that's putting on here. You have a drop down here. You can do tons of stuff. You can adjust the strength of that particular texture that's going on there. Uh, there's a lens vignette here. See, I'll shut it off and turn it back on. You have total control here. Here's film type. I'll shut that off. See how it's adding that teal type look to the image here and then i can come here and adjust its strength or i could come in and change it to a different type of a, a film look so you have tons of control here so i just want to let you know and you can add more filters here you can add there's a lot of filters that you can add which is really cool so you can totally make these presets look any way you want you can add things to them take things from them readjust them so it's really limitless what you can do, but think of a preset as a starting point. And today, again, this is just about, I'm going to whet your appetite showing you different presets. So let me start showing you those presets now. Right now, I'm in a group called Classic Camera, and you see all the presets here. But if you click this little arrow right here, inside of here, these are all groups of different presets. Classic Camera, Black and White, Color Cast, Motion, Wet Plate, Subtle. We'll take samples from all these on Vogue. These are new that were added to the Nick collection since DxO took them over. And then you can build your own camera. I'm not going to get into that today, but here's all your different, think of these as all your different tools or filters that you can add, okay, to add or take away from your uh, different uh, presets, which is really nice. Or you could come down here to build a camera uh, and start out and build your own custom preset. And you can also save those custom presets. Now it's time to explore. Let's start out with Classic Camera 1. Okay, let's go to the next group here, which is black and white, and let's explore these. Let's move on to the next group, which will be color cast. And now on to the next group, which will be motion. By the way, you can change where that motion's going to be uh, added to. You can adjust the different parameters of it. So you have a lot of different flexibility here. And 
Now moving on to our next group, which will be wet plate, more of the older type uh, looking images. And now on to the next group, which is Subtle Bokeh. And now moving on, but see that overlay there? You have tons of flexibility here for adjustments. We're gonna get into that in some future videos. Uh, but let's go to the next group, which is Double Exposure. These are awesome. So much fun, but let's move on. Okay, now we're into toy camera. In case you're wondering, and I know some of you out there are wondering, what is this I'm feeling lucky button? If you click it, it'll just give you a random setting, which is really cool. So every time you click it, you'll get a new random setting. So you can just go through here and see what kind of results you're gonna get. So pretty cool stuff, right? And now let's move on to the uh, next group, which will be vintage camera. Now on to the next group. We are getting near the end here. We're close. Multi-lens is next. And I just have to show you this. See how you can move these, each one of these groups around? So you have, again, total flexibility. Really awesome. And now let's move on to our final group, which will be the On Vogue. So these are the new ones that came out when DxO bought bought out uh, the Nick collection. So they added some new uh, presets here. There you go. That's Analog Effects Pro that's found in the Nick collection. And I hope you can see that there's a lot of great creative possibilities inside of Analog Effects Pro. I showed you every preset today. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing!